Hello YouTube people! Today I'm gonna tell you the differences between previous year Pagani 1661 model versus this year. And also gonna tell you the differences between the golden one and the stainless steel one. And towards the end of the video I'm also gonna do a little review about this beautiful golden watch. Well also gonna show you how this golden watch looks like on some different strap options. So for the beginning of the video let's just clarify things up and I'm gonna tell you the differences between the golden one and stainless steel one no matter the model year. So there are three differences. First difference is the color. <laughs> Second difference is engravings on the bezel. You see on the stainless steel version engravings are a little bit thicker they don't have uh, sharp edges they are done in a much nicer way while on the golden one these engravings are very sharp rather deep and they collect a lot of dirt so that's negative thing about this golden watch and the third difference between golden and stainless steel is the dial no matter the model year the stainless steel comes with this matte finish slightly sunburst dial which in my opinion looks rather dull and golden one comes with this wonderful incredible glossy finish black dial which looks alive and rich even under sapphire crystal without anti-reflective coating so those are three differences between golden and stainless steel one now what are the differences between previous year model versus this year model also i found three differences two things are towards the good and one thing is towards the bad so these two good things Pagan Design used to make these watches with rather loose bezel it often come with misaligned bezel uh, there is not enough of a friction a lot of back play so the bezel action on the previous year model was not the best and they have improved quite a lot at least on my example the alignment is perfect the, there is no back play there is pretty good friction enough of friction for this bezel to be used as some kind of a timing device i still wish there would be a little bit more friction but it's not bad it's not bad it's, it's very good action right now Okay, that's the first difference. The second difference is the Explorer name on the dial. You see, this is rather a little bit of a copy watch. So putting uh, Explorer on a dial, I think that's a little bit one step too far. So I'm very happy that Pagani has removed this Explorer name from the dial. And the third difference is towards the bed, which is about the crown. On previous year model, the crown was very nicely integrated. These crown guards were hugging the crown very nicely. And on this year, the crown is just sticking out. These crown guards have big gaps between themselves uh, and the crown. And it just doesn't look nice. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That's a step into a wrong direction. So those are the differences between previous year and this year. Right now we're gonna do a little review about this golden watch. If you want to see the review of this stainless steel version, I did a review, the link in the description, although the review was about the previous year model, so I was not mentioning anything bad about the crown, because the crown was perfect on previous year model. So keep that in mind. Right now let's talk about this golden watch. So first question as usual, why have I bought it? You see previously I had Invicta Pro Diver also golden. And back then I had mindset that fully golden watch like in Victor Pro Diver is a little bit of a gangster wannabe, rapper wannabe, fake rich etc. So I had small problems in my head towards these golden watches and I sold that in Victor. But after a while I missed it and I saw this Pagani on Aliexpress and it looks incredible in pictures and I bought it. So what were my first impressions? Does it 
live up to my expectations? Does it look as good as in these AliExpress pictures? Oh yes, it does. It looks incredible. It looks very good in person, especially under a sunlight. But at first, I was still too shy to wear it with golden bracelet. So I put it on silicone strap and I enjoyed it so much that I have worn it for a full week straight. I mean, no other watch, just this one, full week. So my eyes got used to this watch and then I put it on this golden bracelet. And then next week, full week with this golden bracelet, full golden watch. And you see, I got the point of the watch. It's so much fun when you when your eyes got used to it and you get the point. Well, my point of view is like, this is like some kind of a big G-Shock. It's some kind of a fashion watch. You see, I wouldn't wear this big golden watch with something like this dress style shirt. It just wouldn't work, I, I believe. This stainless steel version works just, just fine with this shirt. But the golden one is... No, it's too much for me. So the point that I got with this watch is that it looks wonderful with some kind of meme shirts like Fast and Furious shirt. It just plays out. And this, for example, IT hoodie it just looks so much fun and even this uh, leather jacket it just looks cool somehow but that is just completely just my personal opinion my 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 point of view so i do enjoy this watch a lot okay so what are negative and positive points about the watch speaking about negative points there are three two of them about the bezel and one of them is about the clasp speaking about the bezel the engravings on the bezel are too sharp they catch dirt too easily and collect dirt in these engravings, which is not good. Next bad thing about this bezel was that it was uh, very loose in half of a circle and getting stuck on other half of a circle. So I sprayed it up with WD-40. Uh, now the action is even across all the circle, except the problem is that it is too loose to be used as some kind of a timing device. It doesn't have enough of a friction. Also, it is misaligned. Yeah, so bezel action, <laughs> not the best. And the third negative speaking about this watch is the clasp. As usual with Pagan design watches, it comes with very sharp edges. Well, it doesn't take more than 10 minutes to fix these edges, but I still have to mention that straight out of the box, these edges are extra sharp. So these are all the negative things I could think about this watch. Now let's move on towards the positive things. First, very obvious positive thing is that overall what you get for the price, for the money, for under 100 euros, I mean Seiko Niche 35A movement, Sapphire Crystal, Sapphire Cyclops, Ceramic Bezel, overall this watch looks just stunning, it looks incredible. And this golden coating, I also gonna put it into positive things. You see previously I had Pagan Design with PVD black coating, and it held up only for one week in the garage and it started to wear off everywhere, on every edge basically. So I was not expecting much from this golden coating either. But after boosting this watch in a garage for several weeks, it is holding up just perfectly fine. I can't find a single angle where the coating is wearing off. I'm very surprised that this coating is holding up so well. The clasp usually is the first thing that wears out and it still looks very good. A lot of scratches though, but gold coating is holding up no problem whatsoever. So that's all the positive and negative major things that I could think of about this watch. I also wanted to show you how this watch looks like on some straps. Red and gold always works together very nicely. So that's how it looks like on this red strap. It's a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Also, this classy looking black and gray strap. It works almost on every watch. This watch is no exception. It looks incredible with this strap. How about silicone straps? I have worn this silicone strap the most with these big holes because throughout the summer it is very comfy strap. It is very breathable and it looks okay. This watch looks okay with silicone straps as well. Also, I tried out this silicone strap, which looks a little bit more dressier. You know, it doesn't have big holes, but it's still very comfortable. And this watch on silicone straps looks very nice. Now let's talk about my tier lists in my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I'm going to put these watches. This watch, uh, stainless steel one, stays 
at the same spot where it is as keepers even though this year model crown looks bad i still gonna keep it in keepers still it's a very good watch speaking about this golden watch it's a keeper as well because this glossy black finish dial looks just impressive even even under sapphire crystal that has no anti-reflective coating it still looks stunning it goes into keepers that's it thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye